Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Just cause video game thoughts. Given how little story there is here, this will mainly be about missions I found awesome. Let's just briefly go into storyline. Holy crap, how many VIPs do I have to kill to go to, to just get to Mendoza? Okay, let's see. Police chief, military general, the the that guy who I don't even remember who was guy with the glasses. You know, two girls walk up to him to castrate him. The the gotta kill the the rocket guy. You know the the Baron von Braun alumni. Gotta kill two sons. That's that's six people. The two sons of Mendoza. Okay, I think you could maybe throw some other things my way. And then, you know, they actually have Esperanza, I think that's her name, getting captured just so they can have another jailbreak. It's just, yeah, that... <sighs> but when the game actually... To, to be fair, some of these assassinations are quite fun. I really like that literally the two sons, you know, they, they come out in public, stand at a podium, you could be sniping those SOBs, you know, and then just fly off in your Apache chopper as fast as you can, you know. That's that's quite good. And as I say in the review, that blowing up important buildings is quite fun. Even again, it's it's they do go to that well a bit too many times, but yeah, blowing up the power plant, for example, is a lot of fun. And dealing with that pesky Apache chopper. Which, and, and all those troops, you know, so yeah, that was, that was good. I really like the way that if you take down one Apache, they might just, another one might appear. You're, you're buying yourself a little time. You're not getting rid of the Apache choppers, even though you have, you know, what, six rockets to, to bring into it. So yeah, that's, I like that. I, I like that. The... Let's see. I really like the the climax. Let's see. First, we have the part the, the fact that it's divided into three parts. Okay. Let's see. First, I have to get to the the island, the presidential island. Which is overrun by Black Hand, by the way, but thankfully the Guerrilla are there to help you. Then I have to make my way into, you know, to, or to, to the building of the Presidential Palace and, you know, blow up that tank. Okay, that's done. But then I have to, that, that, I think that's when he launches the nukes. Okay, guess I gotta get to the, you know, yeah, get, get, to the, get to the fighter jet, and then I gotta blow the nukes out of the air, which I understand is limited time. Honestly, not to my own horn here, but I did complete it in the first try. That happened a lot in this game. I, I wish they had thrown a little more challenge by when some of these things, but anyway. Yeah, so, so the, or at least had difficulty settings. Anyway, yeah, so you gotta blow them out of the sky. Okay, now, Mendoza is in this plane. You can't just blow it out of the sky. You gotta make sure he is dead. We gotta have an eyeball on that thing. So, yeah, get on board the plane. So, you know, you start out flying. Just, just in the last part of the final mission of the climactic mission. You you start out flying, then you get onto the plane, then you're shooting, you know, you're taking out all these black hand who keep on coming. 
get to the, the, the area of the plane where Mendoza is, and he just walks off. I, I don't know. Is there, like, more than one version of this? Is that why people have complained about that, you know, he's, like, impossible to kill? Maybe. But anyway, then, at least in my version, he's free-falling. I hope, or I don't hope he packed a parachute. And I got a free-fall close enough to him so that I can plant C4 on his back and then get get away from him, and then he blows up. That is awesome! Okay, we've got all three elements there. You get to use a vehicle, and it's a, it's a jet, it's a fighter jet. You get to shoot people, you know, pull off an, an assault on this, on the presidential plane, you know. I've seen Air Force One, I can assure you the president wins, you know, so, yeah. I've seen it more than six times, each time the president won, you know. He really is telling you to get off my plane, you know. And, I suppose, where is my son? <laughs> Either of them. And then you're free-falling, just like you start the game in free-fall, you end the game in free-fall. You know, nice, nice book ending there, and just, that is a badass way to take out the bad guy, and just all these... Yeah, the fact that it's just... Most games try to really blow other games out of the water with their climactic battle. This one really is a contender, you know. That, that's a lot going on at, at the end. With that said, how many times did I have to take care of nukes in this game? Okay, I suppose the rocket parts on the train are not really nukes, but I take them out, he still has rockets. The nukes he fires off at the end, you know, three nukes. I already took care of several nukes back a few missions earlier. So, what, what, how many nukes did this guy have? You know, yeah, it really... And with that said, it, it was fun to take out all the different nukes. I just really wish they had come up with more different things, so it would feel like you were more making progress there. Yeah. Now... I like the the concept of, you know, the, the part where you get on a boat and you kill a guy and then you get off the boat and a, literally like Kane sails you away while you're using the mounted gun. I like the concept, but it, they really didn't have enough coming after you. It, it just it paled in comparison to the opening where you're on the back of the jeep and you're fine and, and they sent choppers and, you know, cars. That one was so much more intense than the boat one, so it's, that's a bit unfortunate. I do like that they also gave you the, the steering wheel in that one mission where you're taking out... That's, that's the part where they castrate that guy. You know, one of the two women is on the back of the truck mounting the gun, the other is in the passenger seat, you're driving, and yeah, I, I quite like that. Yeah. I think that might more or less cover it. I really like all the, the, the Nazi stuff of the Werner von Braun alumni, you know. What was he? he said he called you an Untelmensch, which, with my very basic understanding of German, I'm pretty sure he says you're subhuman. You know, there's, there's the U Ubermensch and the... I'm, I'm guessing Unter is like under. So, so yeah, there's, there's that, and he's trying to escape in the gyrocopter and, and just keeps yelling these things at you, and you got to blow him out of the sky. That was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Now, I suppose that might more or less cover it. I will just briefly talk about There are some things I really wish had been in this game. I wish that you, from stunt position on a vehicle with a mounted gun, could in to, could use the mounted gun. You know that the and and that from and that from the the stunt position that you could plant C four because just think about it. plant the C four with the timer, engage the parachute, and you just took care of an enemy without spending rockets on him, and that, yeah, that would be awesome. 
and then I really wish that you could properly guide the jump from one vehicle to another because there were way too many times where it jumped to another vehicle than I wanted it to. Let's see, does that more or less cover? I would like if there had been some just basic control over some of the guerrilla forces that aid you, like, I'm just talking about Shaft, we're, we're, I'm thinking something along the lines of Kane and Lynch 1, or Freedom Fighters, that kind of thing, where you're basically just telling them, you know, go there and attack, go there and defend, and follow. I think those are the, wow, I gotta play those games again been way too long, but those basic real-time strategy kind of commands where it's it's not that difficult, and just just some of them, and just, like I said in the review, combined with the the call assistance, help, you know, the button, so that if you, if there's too much heat on you, you know, call for just, and, and like early on, they might just send, like, a couple of guys with the, with the jeeps, with the mounted guns, and you could tell one of the jeeps with the mounted gun, take care of that chopper, for example, you know, or get in front of me, clear the way, you know, Caesar is arriving, and yeah, so, so, those kind of things, I, but yeah, still love the game, I'm really looking forward to trying the second one. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.